Welcome, and what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to learn how to install Docker on a CentOS 7 or Red Hat family machine. So for example, if you are running Red Hat Enterprise 7 or Red Hat 7 or CentOS 7, then this process will work for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to add the Docker suggested repositories in order to install Docker Community Edition, which is what we're gonna use throughout this course. Now, there are packages that are already included in some of the Red Hat and CentOS 7 repositories. However, those aren't the most recent packages, and Docker does want us to use a very specific mechanism and add their repository in order to install and use Docker. So let's get started. So I've chosen to use a brand new linuxacademy.com cloud server. Now, if you're following along on this lesson, you're gonna wanna choose to use a fresh installation of CentOS 7 regardless of if you're using a linuxacademy.com cloud server or your own virtual machine or instance inside of the cloud on Azure, Google, Rackspace, or AWS, so on and so forth. And the reason we're choosing a fresh one is our Docker or Lightning Docker in five minutes or less already installed and added the repository for us. So we wanna make sure that we're learning how to do this from scratch. Now, as I said before, we could do a install from one of the Red Hat or CentOS 7 existing repositories. However, Docker prefers that we add for Docker Community Edition, the latest edition of Docker, add the Docker repository because those packages in the existing repositories from CentOS 7, for example, are outdated. So in order to do this, let's just do a quick sudo yum clean all. Let's make sure that we're in a good place to be able to install Docker. Now that we're there, we need to install a few packages. Now, as we go out and learn how to use Docker, we will learn of what these different packages do for us. Docker has a couple different storage mechanisms. Some of that is for storing layer information, and the other part of that is for storing persistent data. Those are two separate concepts that we'll learn about later in this course. I'm just gonna install a few packages by doing a sudo yum install dash y. We want to make sure that we've installed yum utils. The next package we want to install is device mapper persistent data and then LVM2. And let's go ahead and install those packages. Now that our package is installed, we can use the yum config manager in order to add the Docker community edition repository. So to do that, we'll do a sudo yum config dash manager dash dash add dash repo and the repo address. Now that this is done, we need to install Docker Community Edition. Now, alternatively, we can install Docker Enterprise Edition, which has different cost and sign up alternatives to it, which are outside the scope of this specific course. We are here to learn about Docker Community Edition and Docker Community Edition does have everything we need in order to learn Docker minus GUI based management information for container management and orchestration using Docker Swarm, which is still possible all with the command line. And so now what we're gonna do is a sudo yum install dash y on docker dash ce for docker community edition. Now this is gonna use the latest version of Docker from the Docker repository, which we always wanna make sure that we are doing so on a fresh installation. Now, for purposes of a larger architecture, you can specify the version of Docker you want to install, just in case there are issues for your production environment that you want to maintain consistency until such time you want to do an upgrade to the latest version. Now that it's installed, doesn't necessarily mean our Docker service is running. As we know in CentOS and Red Hat family, we need to make sure that we enable the service. And so we can do so by typing sudo, system ctl enable docker and that way docker service will start at boot time and then again we need to start it now to ensure that's running so system ctl start docker at this point we could do a sudo system ctl status 
on our Docker service and see that it is in fact working. And we can start using commands such as sudo docker ps to see running containers, which there are none. So that concludes it for the lesson on installing Docker on CentOS 7 and Red Hat based distributions. Go ahead and complete this lesson and move on to the next one.